in the financial industry, there has been a bit of a shock following 2008. Now I think that we've, we're entering into a new phase where it's, we're at the end of cutting costs. So we have to do things differently. At Imperial College, we've put together this new program from data to decision, machine learning in finance. Machine learning looks like a big word for something that is not very clear. The clarity is that there is the element of machine and there is the element of learning. Learning means that you're able to adapt. So it is as if your toolkit is adapting to a new environment, to new data coming and not doing things in a static manner. Actually, this is the beauty of machine learning. It's having some systems, some techniques that adapt to a changing environment that still provide some value, help in decision making when there are very few laws of nature. So with machine learning, you are sort of diminishing, if you want, the, the, the space of luck and you're making, which is making much more grounded on hardcore evidence. I think this program is a fantastic opportunity for anybody, a financial analyst working in the city or in any, in any financial institution to grasp what is the state of the art or the techniques in machine learning that could be proved extremely useful and fruitful in financial decision making. Machine learning in the end is a technique. These type of techniques, even if they are advanced techniques, you have to blend them with problems. Trying to do the matching between problems and, and techniques and solutions is part of the effort. Innovation needs to be practical. So the, the, the challenge here for people who join us is to get a feel for what innovation is going to look like, but on the practical side to see what practically they will be able to do when they come back home. I think trying to understand what it means practically in, in, in a tangible manner is the, the door opener to helping you so solving your problems. At Imperial, we can have the ambition of changing the world, in at least the financial world. You know, we're early movers in this space of adopting machine learning in finance. There is a competitive advantage. The finance industry, many of the people are not early adopters. So that means that if you start to yourself get into this, you're probably going to have a hedge over multiple years. So that means that here on a relative basis, there is some value. The second thing too is that the difficulty we've had uh, so far was in between being qualitative and quantitative. Actually, when we think of machine learning, it is sufficiently flexible to be able to reconcile the two aspects. And the combination of the two is a game changer.